Okay. Thanks for getting ready to go. Appreciate it. Page, page, page 50 and 51. Okay. 50, 51. Okay, um, so authors don't always state important ideas directly. Today we're going to learn how carefully examining text details and thinking about what we already know help us infer ideas the author only hints at. Okay, so inferring means basically just kind of like guessing what's going to happen based on your prior experience. So for example, if you look outside and you see dark clouds, you might infer that it could what today? What? If a dark cloud outside could maybe what? What? Rain? Think sure it's rain, right? Okay, so that's possible. Maybe it could snow, something like that. Um, maybe um, okay, you see snow on the ground, so you infer that you might have to wear what? What do you think you'll have to wear if there's snow on the ground, Charlie? Boots, yeah. So it's kind of just stuff you know already, just kind of growing up, things you know, things you just have to kind of understand. Like maybe if you see a boy or a girl looking at you from across the room, kind of giving you that eye, you might infer, okay, that they could have a little crush on you, okay, based on your knowledge, knowing that people kind of give each other a little look, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is just going to go over these vocab words first. So everybody find that first word. The word is process. What's that word, everybody? Process. process. Okay, thanks for staying with me. I just want to hear you guys say one more time the word process. What's that word, everybody? Process. Okay, thanks for repeating that. I want you to turn and say to the person next to you, what's that word? Process. Okay, nice word. Now I want you to sound it out with me. You ready? Go. Process. Okay, thank you so much for saying that with me. So i um, just going to use it in a sentence here as an example. Computers today are able to process information faster than they did 10 years ago, okay, or even a few years ago. Okay. So in this case, process would be to take in and use information. Okay. So if I take in and use information, I process it. Okay. So if I take in and use information, I do what, everybody? Process. Process it. Good. So it's like when I tell you something new, okay, and you think about it, and you remember it, okay, that's just called processing it. You take the information, and then you use it, maybe for later, if you're remembering it. Okay, it's like, how many of you know the lyrics to your favorite song, or at least some of the lyrics to your favorite song? Raise your hand if you know the lyrics to some of your, some of your favorite songs, okay, so that would be, you're using processing to remember that stuff, so when you hear it, or you just want to Seeing it in your head, okay, you can sing the lyrics. So you're processing, taking it, using it for later, okay? Um, 